Hi, and welcome to a mixed snack moment. Um, we were just discussing statistics on broke ass niggas and why they don't understand you must pay the play. Um, first of all, we have some numbers. And in case I get them a little confused, I will be going to my panel, Wave panel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just to back up my figures. Um, we're going to start off with Are you tired, ladies, of being approached by a male thinking as if you owe him a motherfucking thing? I'm tired of it. Uh, how about my name is Kellen before you sign, send me a dick pic? <laughs> how about I like long walks in the park and masturbating before you tell me how many people you fucked in the last three days? I don't care. I don't even know any chicks that do care about how many chicks you bag. I don't know. But anyway, um, we were discussing the objective men have once talking to someone when they know the possibility she might not be a nymphal, but they're going to go for it anyway. The best suggestion I have for you men out there is pay the play. Come out the pocket from the gate, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say this. It might say something about me. It might say something about my panel. But fuck that. We keeping it real. Um, Spend some money, and you'll get the pay. Thank you. Spend some money. Hello. And you will get the draw. You won't have no back talking. She ain't going to be looking at you crazy if you spend the money. This is what you do. You walk up to her. You know what? Let's break down the figures, and then I'll give you the solution to the problem. Let's say there's 100 women in the room, right? 50 of them chicks don't want nothing to do with you. they holy rollers. They're Muslims on the snake. Okay, the born again virgins, they're virgins virgins, they just got the voice, they ain't fucking with you, or they're lesbians, and they don't want to be penetrated by you in the first motherfucking place. So that's 50 chicks, cross them out. So now you have the other 50 chicks, right? 25 of those girls that are probably beautiful and you've been looking at them all night are gold diggers. They will tell you from the beginning, yo, um, <laughs> you spending money? Don't look at her like, she's a prostitute. No. Be like, you know what? I know there's a lot of niggas that ask her that same question because she already had her answer backed up. So you know what? She's probably not a hoe. Yes. She's probably not a hoe. Speaking of the hoes, 10 of the motherfuckers. Okay, so now you have 75 chicks that are not accounted for because you're broke. Okay? Or you ain't spending money. Okay? So that's 75 chicks that's just not in your league. Now you have... Ten chicks. Ten chicks left that are actually... They didn't want to be in a relationship. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. So now you have 25 chicks left. 25 chicks left, right? Fifteen of those girls only want to be in a monogamous relationship. They will only be that freak of you're looking for if you put a ring on it, if you give her a title, meet her parents and them, her kids. Those chicks, okay, can't even be bought, really. They got to be bought with quality time. <laughs> you know? She ain't even trying to give you that. So now you have only ten chicks left. Let's call them them folks. And I'm going to go ahead and call them nymphos, a.k.a. sluts, hoes, freak of It don't matter. Hey, these is on. Um, ten of these girls, out of ten of these girls, five of these girls are prostitutes. <laughs> okay? They hoes. You don't want these hoes, but maybe you do, but they're hoes. They're okay. escorts. Yeah. <laughs> they're escorts. They get paid for making it clap. Five of them. Okay? So now you own, oh, and you still got to pay them. You still got to pay them. Even if it's some french fries. They want something, okay, or they leaving you alone. Because they're used to, this is what they don't get it. They are used to getting tricked on in some type of way. So you are not the exception because no one gives a fuck about you. Reality check. So now you have five chicks left. And guess what? These are the five that you're looking for. Yeah, when you came in the room, these are the five that you're looking for. But only one out of the five is actually attractive. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them look like shit. <laughs> so unless you want to put a paper bag over the floor of their head, you know what I'm saying? Unless you want to, I don't know, opt for surgery, only one of these hoes is actually something you will walk around in daylight with. Welcome. So this is what you have to do.
to the rest of these chicks that wouldn't give you time of day, you have to spend money. Look at my panel. Look at my panel. You have to look at my other panel. Look at my other panel. <laughs> You ain't even that smart to be paying her rent so that you can be laid up and she'll be that princess you're looking for. You're not even that smart. So what I'm saying is, take her out on a few dinners, you know what I'm saying, get her hair done, get her little nails done, don't even bring up sex, and she will eventually turn into that nympho for you, for you. But you ain't even thinking long term, you're thinking here it is, but you know what? You get what you pay for, Okay? <laughs> You don't want to spend no money means you want this bitch to be like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, she ain't riding, she ain't swallowing, she ain't doing the backyard, but she ain't even trying to break you off for it. She's just trying to wait till you bust your nut so she can get up. The <laughs> lane. I'm tired of y'all. And if you just put a little money to the side, call it your whole foot, put a little money to the side, spend some money on her, make a little, make her feel special, do a little no, extra shit. Well, so. You want a hoe in the you bed. Want a you hoe. want a hoe in the bed. You want a hoe in the bed. You want a hoe in the bed. You don't want her to be just a hoe either. No! You don't want that because then, and she's just a hoe. As soon as you leave the room, she's fucking and sucking your hoe. That's what happens, people. And don't look at her like she's crazy. You knew who you was dealing with. Exactly. You knew who you was dealing with. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say this. I'm going to go ahead and say this. Spending the right money turns that nympho into the perfect girl. I don't care how you feel about it. It is what it is. It is what it is. If she's feeling like I can depend on my man for anything, mentally, sexually, financially, let's go back to the caveman day. Okay? The caveman came out the cave. He yawned. He saw a pretty bitch. He clubbed her. He brought her back to the cave and he fed her. <laughs> <laughs> he fed her. Okay? He scraped off some skins and she had a mink. That's what they did in the caveman day. But somehow, somewhere, we lost it. We lost it. Now a nigga's looking at you like, yeah, so can I get $15 for gas? No, you can't get no business. No, you can't get no $15 for motherfucking gas. 